Hello and welcome to the Hoof GP YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to sort this cow's feet, get her back walking perfectly and much more comfortably. We run these cows around the farm and up through the parlour and it actually makes it really easy because they're so used to running through that parlour two times a day, every day. So that helps us out majorly. Hey Mr. Hoofman, will you sort out my feet? Of course I will number 21. No problem whatsoever. Can you make them pink? Uh, I don't think I can go that far, but we will make them very pretty. Thank you. Come on. Come on. So I don't know if you guys actually noticed, but she's actually lame on one of her back feet. I think it's the back right foot. So we're gonna go ahead, trim her back feet, which we would do anyway, but try and sort out the lameness issue here first before we tackle those really big, long, clumpy front feet. Craig just wants to show me his big, long one. Okay, Craig, this is a bit awkward. A big, long spin. Oh. Oh, okay. What did you think of that? Nothing. Uh, well, we love you last year. Song out of my head, Kenda Will Smith then. Actually lame on this foot because of her dew claw. Look, like a big rhino horn, but that's not the reason she's lame. It's actually dermatitis in here, which is retarded the growth, making it look kind of funky like this. You see, when it's so close to the flesh like this, using the grinder can be a little bit dodgy, especially because she's a little bit jumpy. So we're going to go ahead use these shiny nippers just like you guys at home who don't have grinders would do it's easy as hell see that no drama well heard tidy up a little bit When I refer to dermatitis, a lot of guys in the States would call that a hairy wart or mortalaro. And with hairy warts or mortalaro, the object is not to make them bleed. If you make them bleed, you're just doing a lot of damage and causing a huge amount of pain for the cow. So we really don't want to cut into it at all, although just touching it has made it bleed itself. see because this inner claw was so much bigger she started to bruise here so that would have become an ulcer if we hadn't intervened so now it's up in the air we can see the full extent of the size of this inner claw it 
really is big and that's causing a lot of discomfort and if it hasn't already done it would cause a lot of pain <laughs> So that's the size that they should be, and as you can see, there is a massive difference. So we've actually got it back to the right length and height and we've modelled out but there's a slight problem here. I don't want to go digging too deep and make it worse. So all we're going to do is take the weight off that and check that it isn't anything too serious and get rid of that loose horn there actually. superficial but if you leave them they can progress into much more serious problems and for sake of a couple of seconds you might as well do it it's not about being beautiful it's about functionality and preventing weakness okay so here's cow 21 as she leaves the crush and clearly, yes, she is still lame on that back right because dermatitis takes a little while to clear up. But when it does, thanks to those new, shiny, sexy new front feet, she will be 100% more comfortable. Luckily for her, dermatitis should be easily in hand within the week or so. And she'll be feeling like a new cat. So as you can see, although that was a very quick trim and nothing too extreme, we've made that cow go from being extremely uncomfortable to being far, far more comfortable. And that dew claw on the back will heal up no problem at all. We soaked it in iodine and the farmer will spray it with antibiotics tonight on the way through the parlour, so she will be all good. sunny but cold day today. I love days like that in the winter here in the southwest Scotland. I feel fresh and you feel alive. It's good. Having Craig working with me is awesome. He's trimming away just now. Just 
obviously I'll check his feet, but he's getting really, really good at trimming. He's gonna, he's really conscientious as well, so he won't go too far at all. He'll stop, I'll check it, then he'll continue when I'm there. But more than that, just having that extra pair of hands just to do little things is making my job way more relaxing and enjoyable. So I'm so glad I've got it. So for me, Craigie Boy and Stevie Boy in the back of the truck there. Thanks very much for watching. See ya.